Hi, Mike Schleeg is from Quorum Up Agencies. Today I'm with Justin Van Nielsen from OCP Crop Protectants to talk about EcoCarb, EcoCarb Plus and Sinatrol Horty Oil. Welcome Justin, thanks, thanks for Mike. your time. Thank you. Um, EcoCarb, what's its mode of action? EcoCarb's mode of action is basically cell wall disruption uh, of, of the spores, powdery mildew spores. Uh, it's, it's an M2 contact fungicide, so uh, EcoCarb to work most effectively, it's a potassium bicarbonate product. Um, we see efficacy improved significantly when mixed with Sinatrol Horty Oil. So really when you've got powdery mildew is when to apply and we can apply uh, EcoCarb from EL9 right through to EL38 mm -hmm. but its main use windows is probably that EL9 to EL23 um, up to flowering sort of thing. So a good fit would be you've, you've had trouble getting sprays on, the weather's been a bit dodgy, yep. include EcoCarb in your yep. program early on to yep. combat powdery. Absolutely and if, if, if you've got powdery it, it is a very good alternate product for powdery mildew control. Uh, it is it is an eradicant of powdery. In saying that, to get the most out of EcoCarb is to ensure that you've got coverage. Um, obviously, con being a contact, mm -hmm. coverage is critical to ensure that you get the desired results in terms of level of control that, that's required for powdery mildew. Fantastic. Um, EcoCarb Plus, so that's got a silicate in it. Yep. It's mode of action and where it fits in the program mm -hmm. as well. Again, same mode of action. It's a dual site. Mm -hmm. um, it's a dual active being potassium bicarbonate plus potassium silicate. We find that the potassium silicate actually gives that protectant layer. It's like a glassy mechanical barrier on the leaf mm -hmm. and also with, if, depending on your crop stage yep. uh, on the berries as well. So where EcoCarb Plus has a fit is if you might have conditions conducive to downy mildew. Um, it has a registration or a suppression claim for downy mm -hmm. um, and also give you that added protection. So you might go straight EcoCarb Plus uh, with a Sinatrol. That'll give you some protection. Um, whereas, say, you might do a, an eco carb plus sulfur plus sinitrol mm -hmm. um, to do a, a similar sort of thing. Okay. Um, tank mixing with eco carb plus. Yep. What is it going to be compatible with and not compatible with? We need to be cautious with eco carb plus, particularly because it is a, in solution about a pH of nine. Yep. So we are cautious with with any tank mixes where they might be subject to alkaline hydrolysis. Mm -hmm. You know, effectively that the active ingredients of products that will break down and denature. Um, you know the OP chemistries. Um, we don't recommend it with with Metaram or or Mancozeb or Iprodione and, and products like that. So any products that are subject to alkaline hydrolysis, we recommend against using. So uh, and again, we can improve compatibilities by buffering. So with Maxi Buff, mm -hmm. um, but again, we don't want to buffer the pH down too far because then we're negating the effects of of the potassium uh, and and the potassium silicate. Yep. Okay. Fantastic. Great. Yep. All right. Thank you very much, Justin. Um, fantastic review about the OCP products. Um, really good range of products. Talk to us at Quorum Up Agencies about their range. Thanks very much.